The easiest tests to implement are probably the accessors. So we have a bunch of accessor methods here, starting with get gender, get name, get email address, and get birthday. So I'm going to implement tests for all of those. Uh, I'll start with this first test here, and I'll just change this to, um, well, let's see. The first thing we have is the name, the birthday, uh, the gender, and the email address. So I'm going to call this uh, test get name. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, test something. I'm going to assert that uh, Fred's name is Fred. Okay, so the expected value is the one I usually put first. Uh, by convention, that goes first. Uh, you expect the name Fred. Uh, and then uh, my actual value is Fred dot get name. Okay, so this just says I expect when I call Fred dot get name, I expect it to return Fred. And I can actually run this test case now. Okay, I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go here to person test. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say run as JUnit test. I don't want this. Okay, and my test failed. All right, well, that's not good. I don't want my test to fail. But if you look at this, um, you click on this test get name, it, it tells you where the failure occurred. All right, and also, if you look over here, it actually tells you what you what it expected and what it got. So, if you look down here, it says um, it expected the word Fred with a small f. It it highlighted the difference in. Um, in square brackets. It expected the name Fred with a lowercase f, but what it found when it actually called the get name method was Fred with a capital F. Uh, and in fact, if you look at the person class, well, actually, we don't have to go back to here. Uh, we can just see that the name should be Fred with a capital F. So that's one place where we got the expected value wrong. So I need to change that to Fred with a capital F. And now if I run that test, if I run it again, everything passes. Very nice. You got one, runs one out of one, okay? No failures, no errors. All right, and now we can do the same for um, Jane. Now we remember we need to capitalize her name. Save that, and again, we run that uh, just to make sure, and everything works fine. Okay, so that's the first uh, accessor method. Um, so I'm going to create the other test cases here for the access other accessor methods. Test get birthday. Uh, and for birthday, I'm just going to put the same type of deal here. Uh, my expected value is going to be this. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to copy and paste that in. 
and then my actual value is actually going to be Fred dot get birthday. And you can see I'm making use of Eclipse's auto completion for these things. Uh, and again, I'm just going to copy and paste this. That's my expected value. And that's my actual value. So I'm going to save that. Uh, I'm going to run it. And look at that. Now I'm passing two out of two tests. Great. That's what I like to see. All right. And I just keep going here. Uh, test get gender. Again, I'm just going to grab it from here so I know that I'm using the right expected value. And that's Fred get gender. And I'll just put add the test for Jane also. Save it, and now I'm going to run my tests again. Three out of three. Okay. I like the way this is headed. Public void test get email. Um, and, you know, I think this is called get email address. Um, you don't have to write test get email address. You don't have to write the exact name of the method with test in front of it. Uh, as long as you're using Java 1.4, you can use these annotations. And anything underneath that annotation um, is something JUnit will test. That's kind of nice just because then you can provide more descriptive names uh, in your test methods. Okay, so assert equals, uh, and then Fred's email is, I need to keep the quotes in there, fred at example.com. And then I just say fred.get email address and do the same for Jane. Okay, uh, and then I'll run it. All right, fantastic. So now we are rolling along here just fine. Uh, but of course, those are typically the easiest methods to test. And um, some uh, JUnit testing folks say that you really don't even need to test accessors. I mean, they're so uh, easy. I mean, they're the ones you assume are going to be right. I mean, we're just, you know, look at these accessors here. Um, all we're doing here is returning a field. Okay, that's all we're doing. This couldn't be more simple. All right, so uh, some unit testing people advise, you know, you don't even really need to test accessors. 